Reverend Valerie Love, and I want to give you three secrets. This is a, a three-part secret to affirmations, affirmations. And what really is an affirmation? An affirmation is simply a statement of what you desire to manifest, what you desire to create and experience. That's all an affirmation is. And to tell you the truth, every word you say is an affirmation. Every word you say is an affirmation. So when you say, I'm sleepy, cancel, cancel, that's an affirmation. When you say, I'm hungry, cancel, cancel, that's an affirmation. When you say, I am tired, I am, uh, I'm so broke, cancel, cancel, that, those are all affirmations. So be careful because every word you speak out of your mouth is an affirmation. So let's talk about affirmations. And first I want to talk to you about the power of rhyme and iambic pentameter in affirmations. Now those are kind of some big words, so let's break it down a little bit. Rhyme. Make sure that your affirmations rhyme. Now, why is rhyming so important in affirmation? Because your subconscious picks up rhymes. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. If your mind, your subconscious mind latches on to rhyme, like a pit bull and just just gnaws that it it loves rhyme your subconscious mind loves rhyme and why are you so concerned about what your subconscious mind loves because you are here as a conscious aware being as a being of light as a spirit being housed in an earth suit that is physical and five sensory you are here to manifest by your consciousness, not by your doing, not by your striving, not by your, I'm gonna make it happen. Stop it. Mm -mm. You didn't come here to do a whole bunch of hard work and slavishly labor away. You didn't come here to do that. You are a conscious, aware spirit being wearing an earth suit. You are a divine idea shot from the mind of God, as Reverend Bernard Mike, Michael Bernard Beckwith says, your spirit in human form. You knowing who you are and having the power that you have, you came here to manifest by right of consciousness. You came here to manifest by right of your ability to imagine, think, feel in a focused direction and then cause that thing to happen. So that should really be 90% of the work, maybe 80% of the work. And then the other 20% or other 10% is you actually taking physical steps on the, on the earth plane to create it. Now the physical steps that you'll take on the earth plane, and please don't get me wrong, don't think you're just gonna sit on a couch, be the couch potato, and just manifest and visualize what Reverend Val said, I didn't come here to do hard work. No, you didn't come here to do hard work, but you're not gonna also sit on the couch and be a couch potato and just think your way into something. No, your consciousness then will guide you intuitively in the steps to take and the steps to take will be joyful. There'll be steps you love to take. It's like I get led to create a video and then I put the video out and then folks enjoy the video, they watch the video and then the word spreads and then more folks come or a client may call me or whatever the case may be. And then step by step by step, that's how it happens. So yes, there will be things that you will actually do, things that steps that you will take on the physical plane to manifest that which, that which you desire. And guess what? Those steps will be gentle and joyful and easy. Not easy all the time. Some of them are challenging. They will be elegant. They will be, you can feel that you'll be in the flow with taking this action. Like I feel right now. I feel like I'm very much in the flow. It's not slavish labor. It just isn't. That's not a part of the divine scheme. If you're slavishly laboring away, you're off. As, as Abraham says, you're off in the bushes. You come out the bushes. What you want is you want to consciousness, get your consciousness on board with it. And once your consciousness is on board with it, that means your subconscious mind, whom some also refer to as your soul, your subconscious mind then will do all the heavy lifting for you. 
Remember, the nature of the subconscious mind, it is non-local. That means your subconscious mind is not located in one spot in your head. Now, your brain is local. We can open your head or we can take an MRI of you and we can see there's your brain right there. There's the front of your brain. There's the back of your brain. There's your frontal cortex, there's your frontal lobe. There's your cortical cortex or whatever those words are. We can see it. It's local. Your subconscious mind is non-local. We cannot open your head and point to up. Oh, there's her subconscious mind. It doesn't work that way. Because your subconscious mind is local, that means it's everywhere. Your freaking subconscious mind is everywhere. That means it's in China and your body could be in India. That means you, your body could be sitting in the UK and your subconscious mind is also in the US. Because what your subconscious mind is doing, it's ordering people, places, events, circumstances, and situations to all come together to create that which you desire. Stuff you could never do. Your subconscious mind right now is doing stuff you could never consciously do. Be very clear about that. And that's what you want on board. The subconscious mind. Because it is a powerful force that once you have it on board, you, you, it's going to do all the heavy lifting for you. It's going to make the way for you. It's going to bring to you the right people at the right time. It's going to give you the right opportunities. It's going to open the right doors for you. And then when those things do happen, yes, there'll be work for you to do. You'll need to write that book or create that blog or, or uh, go out and create videos or go out and meet someone or make a telephone call or create something that you've been wanting to create all along. Of course, there'll be work to do. The work, however, will be aligned and it will be, you'll notice that it'll be fruitful. It will be productive. It will get you the results you desire. So that's the key. You got to get your subconscious mind on board. People that don't have their subconscious mind on board, they're just fighting this losing battle. They just feel cursed and bummed out and can't get it right. And I don't know why am I so unlucky? Why is it not happening for me? How come everybody else got it and I don't got it? Why me? You start asking all those victim questions and everything else because your subconscious mind is simply not on board. All you have to do is get your subconscious mind on board. Get it to do all the heavy lifting for you. And then you'll see life will change. I promise you. All right. So. Let's go to the affirmations. So what we're doing is we're training the subconscious mind to respond favorably to the words that you are saying. Yes, in your affirmations, you're training yourself, you're training your mind, you're training your mind, you're training your subconscious mind to respond favorably and to go fetch that thing. It's like a dog. Go fetch that thing that you want. Whether it's a vehicle or a lovely new boo or, a, you know, or a beautiful home or a fabulous body or whatever it is, a wonderful vacation, whatever. You're the creator of your reality. You get to create anything you want. Go for it. Now, let's go back to the rhyme. Because your subconscious mind loves rhyme, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. You will never forget that ever in your life, okay? Just like Dr. Seuss. Sam I am, I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them on a boat. I do not like them in a boat or whatever he say. Rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. You will never forget it. Your subconscious mind latches on to rhyme. That's why songs rhyme. It's why most things that you remember rhyme. Get your uh, your affirmations to rhyme. So the four that I use all the time is I receive this or, or I, whatever I'm saying that I desire to manifest. These are the four that I add to it. In abundance, elegance, excellence, and opulence. I say that all the time. In abundance, elegance, excellence, and opulence. See, they rhyme. And, and my subconscious mind loves that. It goes in the flow. Abundance, elegance, excellence, and opulence. It's almost like a song. Now, what do those four mean? Abundance means plenty of money. You know, always plenty of money. If there's money required, plenty of it. Ex elegance. Elegance means the greatest result for the least amount of effort. It's like a lever, okay? So you want to use leverage. Excellence means divine right order. I want this thing to show up in divine right order. Very high level, the best it can be. Okay, so if you're manifesting a car 
and you don't put excellence in there, you might manifest a lemon. No, that's not excellence because the car is not operating in excellence. The best. Opulence means that there's a feel of luxury and opulence. I love opulence. I love luxury. It feels good in my soul and in my spirit. Use it. Next, let's go to another part of it. So I said rhyme and iambic pentameter. This is a fancy way of saying make it kind of the same length and make it sort of balanced and bouncy. I'll give you an example of iambic pentameter. There are four words I say all the time to myself, and this will actually lead us into the second uh, uh, affirmation secret after rhyming. The second manifestation secret is, well, let me tell you this part first, then I'll tell you the second secret. Iambic pentameter means this. Here are the four I say all the time. Youthful, beautiful, sexy, healthy. Now I say that all the time. I'm just, you know, walking down the street. Youthful, beautiful, sexy, healthy. You feel that iambic pentameter. Youthful, beautiful, sexy, healthy. You see, it's like a flow. That's iambic pentameter. Let them flow. Now, a little bit of this might be, if you haven't mastered it yet, maybe it takes you mastering a little bit. You know what you do? Get some book of, books of poetry. Because when you read poems and you read the famous poets, a lot of the wonderful poets, a lot of the wonderful masters of the word, you'll see how they did that. How they got the song, the words to kind of sing and there's a lilting quality to it. There's a, a balance quality to it. There's a bouncing ball quality to it. Your subconscious mind loves that. Now here's the second secret in affirmations after getting it to rhyme and having the iambic pentameter. Second secret is take off the I am. Now I know everybody says, I am, I am healthy. I am, I am, I am, I am. I understand the I am. I'm a big I am girl myself. I'm always, you know, I am that I am. I chant that frequent, all, like almost daily. I am that I am. I'm big on the I am. Also, there is a time when you may want to release the I am, and here's when. When your subconscious mind doesn't believe it, and it kicks it back out. It spits it out like, nope. And for instance, I am rich. Nope, no you're not. You're broke. Your bank account is overdrawn. Whatever. Next. <laughs> you know, that's what your subconscious mind is doing. And you could say, I am rich for the next 20 freaking years of your life and you will never be rich because your subconscious mind, as soon as you put it in, I am rich. No, you're not. Psh, spits it right back out. I am healthy. No, you're not. You're laying in the bed sick and depressed. I am happy. No, you're not. You're broken hearted because your boyfriend just left you. I mean, <laughs> am I the only person that's ever had this? Can you agree? Can you, can you, can you understand the words that are coming out <laughs> Can you get with what I'm talking about here? If you can't, just say, I am, Reverend Val. I, amen. So, how do you not get your subconscious mind to spit out what you're wanting to implant? You've got to get the seed implanted in the subconscious mind. It's got to take root and it's got to you water it and water it and water it and grow. Well, if your affirmation seed is not hitting, remember the, the four soils that Christ talked about. He said, some soil falls, falls by the wayside where the soil is trodden down. People have been walking there. It's hard. It's not prepared, tilled soil. It's not fertile. The seed that lands there will be exposed. The birds will pluck it up or the sun will, or the birds will pluck it up. The other seed got scorched. The birds will pluck it up. And you're not going to have any growth there. So that's what's happening. You say, I am rich, whatever. That seed does not get implanted in your subconscious mind. You don't become rich. I mean, this is really how it works. Here's where you can drop the I am. When you notice that you say something, but you get the kickback from the subconscious mind, just says, uh-uh, uh-uh. Then go to my four. And you can pick any four that you want. 
make sure that you use the rhyme and the iambic pentameter and simply say the words don't say I am okay then there's nothing to fight your subconscious mind can't say no to it because you're not telling it that you are it yet it's still working because you keep saying the words so if you're saying if you're walking down the street and you're saying youthful beautiful sexy healthy and you're just in the flow of that youthful beautiful sexy healthy youthful beautiful sexy healthy can you see that it's getting in there even though you're not saying i am now if you look in the mirror and you see yourself and you're looking oh man i got another wrinkle right there oh my god i'm, I'm getting older by the second you can't use the I am youthful beautiful if you don't feel beautiful if you think you're ugly if you think people have told you that you're ugly don't use the I am beautiful it's not gonna work it won't stick that seed will just get plucked off by the birds switch it up see this is mastery here level that we're talking about and this will really amp up your manifestations just side 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 uh a side swipe or, or side track or, or go around that in your subconscious mind youthful beautiful and beautiful when you're doing beautiful oh feel beautiful imagine in your mind you know beauty 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 beautiful sexy healthy and you're not identifying it with you as what you are now you're simply whipping yourself in the energy of it. And by nature, you are washing the mind with youth, beauty, sexiness, and healthiness. This is how it works. All right. Third, make your affirmations a question. And then I'm going to give you a bonus from Shakti, Shakti Gawain in Creative Visualization. Make your affirmations a question, not a statement. Why am I so rich and beautiful? <laughs> Why is everything so easy for me? Why is all this money coming to me so fast and easy? Ooh, I love counting it. See, make it a question. When you make your affirmations a question, and this I got, I must be honest with you. This is where I got this from. The beautiful being of light, Noah St. John. He wrote probably one of the most incredible books I have ever read in my life. It's the Secrets of Success book. I'll put the link to his book underneath this video. What Noah St. John says in his book, it's, it's an incredible secret to success, incredible secret to success. When I read it, I still remember where I was sitting when I read it. And I still remember like the, the cells in my body changing from what Noah St. John read and wrote. And this is what he said change your affirmations into affirmations because an affirmation is forming energy isn't it? it's forming energy and how do you do that change flip it to a question because once again he said the same thing your subconscious mind is spitting out all that stuff you've been saying affirmations for years but your subconscious mind hasn't latched on to any of that stuff yet it's not doing it change it to a question because most people and you got to read the whole book and you got to really get what he's talking about most people ask themselves the wrong questions. Man, why didn't it work? Well, what do you get more of? Cancel, cancel. It not working. Cancel, cancel. Rather than asking yourself questions like, wow, why is everything I touch so successful? Wow, why am I so smart? <laughs> wow, why am I so brilliant? Because you are. God made you this way. So when you start asking yourself these kinds of questions, your whole world begins to take on a different quality because you are now asking different questions. The quality of your life will result from the quality of your questions. So if you begin asking yourself these beautiful affirmations in question form, oh, look in the mirror, why am I so beautiful? <laughs> and then your subconscious mind, it doesn't have anything to fight. It can't fight that. What it does is it goes and fetches the answer for you and brings you evidence of why you're so beautiful. That's what it does. Works like a charm because it is. <laughs> All right, boo. I love you. Oh, the bonus. Before we go, the bonus. 
here's the bonus after you do your three. So I want you to, and then please use these and then comment, comment, comment on this video and tell me what happened, okay? Because we want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. want to hear what's working, what's not working, ask questions, all that good stuff. Remember, if you need help with any of this, you can always book a session with me one-on-one -on, -one, on Skype or Google video chat, and we'll really break it down for you one-on-one. -on -one. And I, I am a master at diagnosing where the issue is so that we can go right to the issue and you can get the prescription from Spirit for that particular issue, okay? So uh, ValerieLove.com, book sessions with Val. Anyway, here's the fourth, and here's your fourth bonus. Here's the bonus point. And this came from Shakti Gawain in Creative Visualization. She said to do this, make your affirmations three part. One, make it so that it is I am first person. Two, make it so that it is second person. And three, make it so that it's third person. Okay, so let's go back. And we're not going to use the... Um, the, the um, one of the affirmations that your subconscious mind absolutely will not believe. Let's call it, I am grateful that. How's that? Okay. I am grateful. Ooh, I'm grateful that I got this $10,000 check in the mail. Ooh, I'm grateful. Okay. That's the first person. That's for manifesting a check for $10,000. All right. Second person. She is so grateful or you are so grateful that you got that check for $10,000. You are so grateful. Now you have stepped outside yourself and you're speaking to yourself. Though the second and third person doesn't work well in visualization, it works amazingly well in affirmation. Okay. So the second person, woo, you are so grateful to have this check for $10,000. Third person is Valerie is so grateful to have this check for $10,000. Woo, thank you, spirit. You see, when you do that, that's a three-level uh, affirmation. And guess what? Your subconscious mind kind of believes the third one more than the first two. Because the third one sounds like an authority figure, like maybe God, a teacher, a pastor, somebody is now saying this about you. And if you're inclined, if you were trained that way, then that will be effective for you. Okay, make it that a voice outside of you. Valerie is so grateful to be getting this ten thousand dollars. Ooh, I sure am. And it's like, wow. All right, there you have it. I pray this serves you. Visit me online at ValerieLove.com. Come on, let's get it on in a very good way spiritually. <laughs> be blessed. Mwah. I love you.